driving up down the interstate. Biggest waste of taxpayer money in Indiana. It's an incredibly optimistic but naive investment in speed limit signs. <laughs> they're not working. <laughs> Clearly, there is no limit to the speed in Indiana. Why waste the paint? Just call it what it is, speed, because that's all I saw. Just <laughs> And I made a blunder, I admit it. I was just visiting, I made a blunder. I accidentally merged into the fast lane. <laughs> Look at these people, what? Ch -ch -ch. Wait a minute. <laughs> that would be our lane. I don't know how fast you're supposed to go in the fast lane in Indiana. But apparently, you have to go faster than the fastest guy that's fastly approaching your butt. <laughs> you want to be in the fast lane, you better be the fastest man in Indiana. Because I was just sitting there, and there was a guy in his big Indiana truck. Ah! Ah! He had two kids in car seats in the back. Apparently, this was a teaching moment. <laughs> Kids, look at this idiot! He's going like 70 in a seven day! <laughs> How narcissistic have we become? I once heard a famous man, Ed Cole, say this. We tend to judge people by what they do. We judge ourselves by our intentions. This is what has happened to the new America. People can be evil to you, bigoted towards you, act the same way that they claim is bad, but they never judge themselves by the same standard. So here's a guy angry at me for obeying the law. Same guy, by the way, that would get mad if he got pulled over for speeding if the cop was hiding. <laughs> hey, where were you behind a bush? That's not fair. You're supposed to be out in the open so I can see you and slow down before I get past you. Because that's how we see it, but that's Indiana. It's got its own flavor, its own vision of how speeding really could look. And you guys got this beautiful and amazing mixture of big cities, Fort Wayne, Indianapolis, right? South Bend, right? Big cities, and then you drive like three seconds and there's nobody left. 